Today, we are actually going to use Yang Kick. If I do not clear MOC 10 with zero cycles, I'm just not gonna race Fusion. Oh boy! Oh boy! Hey guys, Mr. Pookie here, back with another video, and today the king has returned to his throne, featuring Yan Qing or Yang King. This man right here, he has been forsaken, stepped on, beaten by pretty much every single player in every single tier list across every single community, uh, known to every single multiverse in Hongkai Star Rail, right? But alas, today this MOC buff is the buff where Yang King truly transcends humanity, transcends tier list as we attempt to achieve the zero cycle with Yang King, right? So without further ado, let's get into today's content. Subscribe! Here's the cook that I've been thinking of. Honestly, nothing too complicated. It is a straight up hyper carry setup. One DPS, three supports. The main reason why this comp works uh, without suffering from in fear of getting like killed, right? Our damage is so high to the point where the enemies don't even deal damage to us, which I guess you can kind of call this as like Dr. Ratio's negative cycle. We basically just don't get hit a single time. Um, the only difference this time is that for Dr. Ratio, Dr. Ratio actually got hit towards the end, but for this particular MOC 12 boss, the deer actually does not attack you at all. The very first cycle when you fight the deer, he actually does not attack you at all, he only summons the plants. So straight up, as long as you can kill the first half without taking any damage, you are basically good to go, right? The RNG that we have to grind with this team comp is unfortunately this thing right here. We have to grind for the 57% fixed chance to perform a follow-up attack. If Yan Chin doesn't give us the follow-up attacks, it's a very, very massive DPS drop-off. Because not only does it help with our toughness bar breaking, um, this MOC buff also provides us with uh, increased follow-up damage, right? So we, we really, 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 really need Yan Qing to, to give us some face and perform his follow-up attacks, right? 57% chance. Uh, some might say, Mr. Choki, you might raise this to become higher. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't really feel like I want to <laughs> invest the balls in Yan Qing, right? Respectfully, okay, not because I don't want to, but because I don't need to. I don't need to invest, right? No, I don't want, I love Yan Qing, I just don't need to, right? We, You and me, we are not the same, right? We are not the same, right? I'm gonna do this with my Yan Qing without this stupid ass trace, because honestly, this trace is completely useless, uh, but this too, it, it helps a little bit, right? But you know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I just, I don't need it. I don't need it, right? Um, The stats is gonna be 39 crit rate, 200 plus crit damage, with 3k attack, 1, 2, 4 speed, 48.4% ice damage, right? And then this is gonna be this light cone. We are gonna be running um Doctor Ratio's signature light cone, which further signifies how important Yan Qing's follow up attack is. Because our follow up attack ignores 24% of the target's defense, right? So we really, really want Yan Qing's follow up attack to trigger. Redex, I'll be rocking the four piece quantum as well as the two piece also too. At this point, I, I feel like if you guys are gonna be seeing a uh, zero cycle on Mr. Choki's channel, 99% of the time, I'm probably running 4-piece quantum because 4-piece quantum is just such a universal set that I believe that pretty much every single creature DPS will make use of 4-piece quantum, right? I didn't, uh, frankly speaking, this I, this is completely useless, by the way. This this Eidolon is, is completely, imagine it don't exist. Uh, this one, you know, 
it's, it's, it's a little bit more damage, I guess, right? It's a little bit more damage, you know? It, it, it is what it is, right? So, so yeah, yeah, okay. Anyways, uh, Bronya, 240% crit damage, 34 rest. We're not gonna talk about this. Yep. Uh, ra rainbow piece, rainbow piece, right? Uh, and, yep, okay, yep, we're not gonna talk about this. Yep, mm -hmm, yep, okay, and, and then Pella is just gonna be, um, 153 uh, speed with, with, with 1 to 4.4 energy regeneration, as well as 33 per soil, um, EHR. The EHR is a little bit low, but the reason is I am rocking her, okay, S5 resolution aside and the ultimate side, I am rocking her with the four piece passerby because this additional skill point is rather important for our run today, right? I do need the additional skill point. Uh, it's either gonna be her. Or it's gonna be run me. And then in my infinite wisdom, I decided, you know what? Pella can run the four piece passive by. And I'm just gonna grind our RNG a little bit for our uh, debuffs to hit, right? And then she's gonna be rocking a two piece pentacony for some additional ice damage for Yan Qing. But that's that. Our uh, main reason is because I simply don't have enough effect rest to trigger broken Q. Other than that, not much difference. E6 Pella. And then Run Mei, you know, this Run Mei build is, is genuinely my favorite Run Mei build of all time, of all of my zero cycles. Because for all zero cycles, um, the way it works is your Run Mei. Ultimate lasts 100% of the time. She only needs to cast her ultimate one time and you're done. So we basically don't need to build any energy regeneration. We don't need to build any speed. We only go all in break effect. And then we have a 250% break effect run rate, right? Uh, S1, Tracers. You know what, I'll save my balls for Black Zone. I'll save my balls for Black Zone. And then we're going to be running the 4-piece Thieves with 2-piece Von Weg. Uh, the Von Weg is especially important because with Von Weg, it allows our Ramei to be the first one to act under normal circumstances, right? Except for this particular uh, Memory of Chaos, our Yi and Qing will still go first, right? But uh, normally, Ramei will just be really, really fast so she can still apply the um, buffs before our DPS. So that's why we are still running Von Weg and that's why we still have 120 speed for Ramei. And that's going to be an E2 Ramei, you know, simply pull better, right? Okay, without further ado, um, honestly, what I'm looking for at this point is simply getting the, getting the, uh, what do you call it, the follow-up attack triggers. Cool. Alright, skill, auto attack into an ultimate. Okay, at this point, we need to reset again um, because, as you guys can have noticed, the witch is faster than our yanking. Uh, the reason being, this MOC buff, there is a speed debuff. So we, we, we actually need her to get some of the speed debuff. So unfortunately, we need a reset again. <laughs> we, we just need the RNG and 15 minutes tops, we'll, we'll get it guys, we'll get it. 15 minutes tops. Guys, guys, it, it, it really doesn't take that long guys, right? It really doesn't take that long. Uh, I'll hit this with an ice rest now. Monkey's gonna do this. Hop on with a defense break. Okay, so this is the first layer of RNG, right? The first layer of RNG is that Yan Qing, his follow-up attack has to trigger here because if it does not trigger, then the wish will not break. And if the wish does not break, then we, we, we need a reset, right? So, follow-up attack, go. You know what? It's actually not that bad. The reason being, our Yan Qing didn't get hit. Our Yan Qing didn't get hit. So I think it, it, it might still be doable, right? It might still be doable. I'm just gonna hit this. Now, witness. One Jian Tian Lai. 392,000. Okay, yeah, and that was without Bronya out, guys. That was without Bronya out. Um, now we just need to basically uh one shot this but a bitch, right? Oh, oh my God. Anyways, boom. Um, basic attack. I need him to have the follow up attack here, otherwise. The run might be a little bit bricked because we need a cast of ultimate. Woo! Yo, we might get it, guys. Yo, nice not one trade for tier one, man. Yo, guys, we might be able to get this now. Yo, watch me absolutely obliterate his hell pool. Wow. 
，万箭天来。哦哦、All right. Now we just pray that we land our follow-up attacks. Pray with me, chat. Holy f shit! Please be careful. Chat, this is our last layer of RNG. I need Bronya's E1 to trigger so that we can get back our skill point so that Yan Qin can cast his skill. Final, 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 final layer of RNG. We need Bronya to give us back the skill point. And then we are done. We literally got the run in like 10 minutes. If we get back the skill point, literally 10 minutes. <laughs> yo, shut the f up, yo, 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 yo. Okay, I think this is the kill, right? I swear to God, if this does not kill, I'll be so upset. Under 10 minutes. Yeah, bro, at this point, your E3, your E3 S5 bro, can zero cycle. I mean, okay, okay, you know I'll, I'll try it. I'll, I'll give it like 10 minutes. I don't I don't overcook this shit. Ah, but without Bronya, it's like, oh man. I feel like it might still be doable, but it's just that like, it's a little bit more annoying. All right, let's try this first. Okay, first of all, can we still one shot this monkey right here? Can we still one shot this dude? Yingyun has a stronger buff than Bronya. Dude, with Bronya, we literally hit 390. Team is 410. Okay, to be fair, to be fair, I didn't have Bronya's ultimate. To be completely fair, I just need to learn a follow up. Wow, are we actually doing this? I kind of don't believe this. Now we can make it. We can make it. This has to kill. Ooh. Okay. Are we actually doing this on our very first try? A basic attack, Pella skill, Yan King skill. And then Tingyun basic attack and cast ultimate. Auto plant? Why the f would I auto plant? Hit counter? Dude, no one is countering, guys. Oh my god, I almost got baited by chat. Holy shit. There's no counter plants here. I, I, for once in my life, I actually read and the reading actually paid off. Okay, chat, you know what? I feel like I'm just gonna basic attack. Because I need Pella to give me the ice rest penetration. I feel like it's a lot more important. Hold on. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Okay, I don't, I don't think this is enough, guys. I don't think this is enough. Bro, we buff Ranmei. And we let Ranmei's basic attack kill him. Oh my god, she didn't break. Oh my god, this is so sad. It's time for energy rope. Okay, chat, the thing is, if we actually manage to get this zero cycle, do I still post the one that I did with Bronya? Okay, I'll post the one with Bronya, and then like, you thought I was done? And then I'll was, I was screenshot the E3S5 Bronya hit comments, and then like, here's this one. Oh yeah, that would be pretty, that would be pretty, that would be pretty, yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. I'm cooking, I'm cooking. Alright, one shot this bitch.
massive. Bro, is ER Rope Yen King actually gonna be the tech? I don't think I should Ice Rest down. Okay, wait, wait, if I Ice Rest down, I can get a higher brick damage. I only have one skill point left. Yen King skills, basic attack. Can my team even get back her shit in time? I think, but I think I'll, I'll lose the thingy though. Okay, you know what? No, I'm gonna basic attack. And uh, hopefully, this, this is enough. Give me a goddamn full up attack! It might still be good though. It might still be good. It might still be good, chat. It might still be good. Am I just not gonna get a single full up attack? Like literally. Literally. Wait, maybe this kills though. Yanking! Truly a unit of his time. Truly a unit of his time. Bronya who? Bronya who? What? Were you guys typing on your tiny little keyboards? Um, actually, E3 Bronya, E3 S5 Bron- This is pretty hype, man. This is pretty hype. Roll better, guys. Bronya who? God damn. I need to get my build for this because I, I, we didn't really- Yo, shout out to whoever recommended me running the- ER rope yanking. I, I I forgot who you were. You're the real one, right? You're the real one. Whoever recommended the ER rope yanking, all right? And then you know Bronya, who with our you know very very um relatable Ting Yun, right? Very relatable Ting Yun. Um, yeah. Honestly, this is just you know, just simply just roll better, right? Just simply just roll better, right? Uh, Rame exactly the same, right? Didn't really change at all. Uh, Pella is exactly the same. Didn't really change at all, right? The only change we did was giving our uh, beloved Yanking ER rope. That that was the tag, guys. This this nineteen point four percent ER. That was the tag. I'm pretty sure we're still gonna see comments. Um, actually, it's it's, it's with E two S one run my. That's that's why you were able to do this. Um, so actually, technically, it doesn't really count. So yeah, you can go f yourself, Mr. Chokey. Yeah. So like, um, yeah, but it's alright, right? At least we give them one less phrase in that comment, right? And with that, we have come to the end of uh today's content. Now I know uh this is not a super relatable account. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I I I I I do. Get some pretty lucky pools, <clears throat> if I can say so myself. Yeah, but if you guys want to engage in further discussions, you know, over to Pokey's village where you can cook and grill Mr. Pokey for using a E3 S5 Bronya and an E2 S1 Ramay. Right? How dare he, right? I'll see you guys in my Discord, right? Um, otherwise, if you guys want to check out my stream, that's going to be at twitch.tv slash Mr. Pokey. Well, I'll be streaming live almost every single day. Um, surely will be uploaded on Discord, right? So, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll be looking forward to all of your hate comments. I know I'm going to see it, and I'll see you guys next time. There can only be one true king. Take care, guys. I, I, I genuinely cannot believe this shit. I genuinely cannot believe this shit. I genuinely... I genuinely cannot believe this shit, guys. I gen... Did I say I genuinely... I, I, did I say how I genuinely cannot believe this shit? I genuinely cannot believe this shit, guys.